Do you think you will sweep her off her feet by being nice? You are sadly mistaken. Listen tight as we are about to reveal 8 facts why destroying her ego turns her on. Fact number 1. No matter how smart or capable they are, deep down women want to feel protected. Keep this in mind because most of the other facts revolve around this one truth. The majority of women are probably not even aware of this, but it is ingrained in the very essence of a female being. As Teal Swan, an accomplished international speaker and author says, fear is the baseline biological experience for women on earth. And if you as a man are acting too soft, your woman can never feel safe and protected by you. But you know what? You know that other guy that always looks fierce but in control? I bet she could feel protected with him. And I am sure she already glanced at him a couple of times when you weren't looking. So get your act together before it's too late. Fact number two. Every woman wants to scale up. She wants to be with a man she views as higher status than herself. This behavior is natural, not only for women, but for men as well. We all want to prosper, and you cannot prosper if you keep settling for less. That is why, if you want to be attractive to women, you need to become a high-value man. That doesn't mean just looking good and having money. Lots of good-looking men are not successful with women because they lack other values. On the other hand, men who have a lot of money often get used by women financially, and that's it. Because even if you are rich, if you go on simping all the time, giving her all she wants without asking anything in return, you look weak and her ego wins. That's not what a high-value man does. When you become that man and you crush her ego, her desire for you will appear naturally. She will start perceiving you as a high value man and treating you with respect. Fact number three, women want you to lead. If you are too timid, you are not a leader. It's as simple as that. You need to be the alpha and lead the way. But keep in mind, Crushing her ego doesn't mean that you are oblivious to her needs. On the contrary, it means that she needs to trust that you have her best interest at heart, even though it doesn't seem that way in the short term. As a leader, you don't simp with your partner, but you do provide and protect. Fact number four, dominance is attractive. Some women will say they don't like to be dominated, but most of the time, it turns them on. So, let's look at this from another perspective. If a man is vulnerable and needy, he is sending her a message that she will eventually have to do it all herself and probably even fend for herself. And that cannot turn on anyone. Even if she felt something for you, she will gradually lose interest and start perceiving you as a burden, another problem she has to deal with in life. So when you demonstrate dominance, thereby crushing her own ego, you are actually telling her that you will take care of her and be there for her. And to women, that's hot. Fact number five. You have surely heard the myth that most women are attracted to assholes. This seems totally contradictory, right? Well, not when you realize the basic principles involved. First of all, who is an asshole? A guy who doesn't pay attention to a girl and doesn't buy her drinks will probably be called that. Then again, 90% of men are simps who will cater to a woman's every desire and spend money on her. So, when a guy suddenly doesn't do any of those things and act like he doesn't care, he immediately stands out from the crowd. Hence, assholes become attractive. But there is also one more important thing to keep in mind. It is not always the behavior of an asshole that is so appealing to women. It is what he is not doing. The asshole does not display the main traits that put off most women, such as indecisiveness or overpoliteness. So right off the bat, women find there is something attractive about that asshole, even though most of the time they can't really put their finger on it. It's just there. 
so no matter how rude the asshole is, or how unconcerned he may appear to their needs, they still feel an attraction. Fact number six, women are attracted to fearlessness, and you cannot display that quality without destroying a woman's ego. This again goes back to the need to be protected and provided for. How can you protect a woman if you are fearful? How can you provide for her if you are afraid to ask for a raise or find a better job? These things sound stupidly simple, but often in life, they're just that. Let's refer to Teal Swan again. According to her, relationships tend to balance things out. If a man is not masculine enough, the woman takes over that part, so the roles get reversed. If she wins in all arguments, in a sense, she is on her own again. There is nothing between her and the weight of the world. It is only if a man is fearless, masculine, and able to battle for his own worth that a woman can feel contained by him. So these six facts revolved around the biological baseline experience of women. Whether they realize it on a conscious level or not, it is a part of them, at least to some extent. Having said that, let's dive into our next fact which is based on the social fabric of modern society. And as such, it is probably the most important one, especially for young men entering adulthood. Fact number seven. It has become apparent that with the toxic new age feminism running rampant, the modern western woman has lost all respect for men. The simps are so hell-bent on getting attention from girls that they will do anything for them and even endure being in the friend zone forever. And what does a good-looking girl have to do to get that attention? Just put on some makeup and go outside. That's it. So, understandably, the girls' egos got inflated and they started feeling they deserve everything without having to give anything in return. So, if you as a man want to get any respect from a modern woman, you have to destroy her ego first. Only then will she show any true interest and start respecting you. Fact number eight. And this brings us to our final act for today, which will also show you how to crush a woman's ego in one simple step and get her immediately interested. Women crave attention, and they get it because, as we said, 90% of men are simps. So, a nice looking girl just needs to get dressed, go to a bar, and most men will fall head over heels to talk to her and be around her. So when girls are getting too much attention, it eventually becomes boring. So don't give them attention. By doing that, or should I say, not doing that, you will immediately stand out from other men and they will be interested. The truth is, high value men are preoccupied with taking over the world, so to speak. They don't bother themselves with running after girls. They know girls will run after them. This is the attitude that immediately crushes a woman's ego and makes her interested. So next time you see a cute girl, be bold and approach her, give her a compliment, and then turn around and do your own thing. She will instantly be intrigued. Who is he? Why is he not looking at me or buying me drinks? She will want to know more. And just like that, her ego is crushed. Before we go, let's do a quick recap. All of the facts you heard today revolve around two basic truths. Once you grasp these two concepts, everything will fall into place. The first truth is that on a deep biological level, women want to feel safe, protected, and led by a high-value man. The second truth is that the modern woman has an inflated ego that makes her disrespect men in general. By crushing a woman's ego, you show her you are a high-value man that will take care of all those biological needs that she doesn't even realize she feels.